All right, go ahead and echo after me and let's review our picture cards. Balloon, b. Fish, f. Octopus, a. Jar, j. Cat, k. Dog, d. Goat, g. Umbrella, a. Uh. Equal, e. Apple, a. Uh. Inch, i. Uh. Overalls, o. Oh. Duck, k. Hat, h. Acorn, a. Tent, t. Elephant, a. Uh. Lion, o. Monkey, m. Shark, sh. Pig, p. Icicle, i. Rabbit, er. Yarn, y. Sun, s. Unicorn, u. Vest, v. Wagon, w. Zebra, z. Nest, n. Fox, x. Feather, v. Thimble, Cheese, ch. Kite, k. Anchor, k. Chef, sh. Rose, z. Butter, er. Bird, er. Turtle, er. Quilt, qua. Star, r. Dollar, er. Horse, or. Doctor, er. Whale, wa. Our sight words said. The. Some. Come. Was. Into. To. Of. Have. They. You. From. Together, today, what, eight, are, love, for, do, to, who, where, tomorrow, one. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our lesson for today. We'll wait on that. This is our spelling words for this week. Make sure you are practicing these spelling words every day on how to spell them and read them. Let's take a look at our spelling words for the week. So we have some digraphs. We have digraph sh, digraph sh, digraph sh. We also have digraph CH and digraph TH. We have digraph CK. See any more digraphs? No. Okay, so just pay attention to your words and what they have in common. Especially down here where you see the CK, make sure you spell it with a CK and not a K or not just a C. Okay, and then over here we have some VCCV words because they are two syllable words. They have a vowel, they have a vowel in each syllable, so they have two vowels in each word, so that means they're two syllable words. All right, so make sure you just study these and um, let's go ahead and read through them. So echo after me. Cash, shelf, shut, pinch, chick, math, fifth, this, stack, 
smack upset until index contest cactus this is a tricky word so make sure you pay attention to this word cactus best twin trot stump and print. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to give you a sentence and I want you to write it on the lines in the middle of your paper. Okay, so before we begin, who can tell me what a sentence is? Okay, so we're going to start right here and then we'll go back and spell our sight words. Okay, so who can tell me what a sentence is? A sentence is a group of words that makes a complete thought. Let's look at a sentence and talk about it. What does a sentence begin with? A capital letter. A sentence always begins with a capital letter. What does a sentence end with? a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. That's right, a sentence must always end with some sort of punctuation, such as a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. When do we use a question mark? When we ask a question. When do we use an exclamation point? This is an exclamation point. when we want to show excitement exactly or make something make a very strong statement so if this sentence has an exclamation point i would read this sentence as jeff has a black cat okay i'm express showing strong expression okay when do we use a period any other time, okay? So echo this sentence. Jeff has a black cat. All right, so before I read it with more expression, when I had the exclamation point, when I just have a period, you just read the sentence. Jeff has a black cat. Okay, so on number 11, on these lines, we have the top line, the middle line, and the bottom line. When you write, I want you to write very carefully and take your time and as neat as possible. We're going to write, echo this sentence after me. The big dog is lost. Okay, so we need a capital letter all the way from the top to the bottom. The big. Okay, if you notice this middle line, I'm not going past this middle line with my lowercase letters, okay? Some of my letters have tall parts, so they go all the way up to the top. Some of my letters go below the bottom line. So the big dog, and make sure you have finger spacings. The big dog is lost. period, okay? Just pay attention when you're writing. Try really hard to not go past this middle line with your lowercase letters. You see how I'm stopping? And then I put my I, my S, 
Okay, all of my lowercase letters match up with this middle line. If they have tall parts, they go all the way up to the top. If they have lower parts, they go below the bottom line. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go back to number one. So number one, we're going to spell some sight words. Put your finger next to number one. Spell the word come. C-O-M-E. And did you notice, I don't have a middle line, but all of my lowercase letters pretty much line up, okay? Number two, echo after me, eight. E-I-G-H-T. Number three, four, which is the number four, F-O-U-R. Number four, have, H-A-V-E. Number five, today, T-O-D-A-Y. Number six, they. T-H-E-Y. Number seven, what? W-H-A-T. Number eight, where? W-H-E-R-E. -E. Number nine, who? W H O and number 10 U Y O U. Okay, we've wrote our sentence already. Don't forget to practice spelling and reading these words on the bottom. Okay, let's look at some other sight words. Echo after me, could. C-O-U-L-D. Don't. D-O-N apostrophe T. Should. S. H O U L D. Something. S O M E T H I N G. There. T H E I R. Now, this kind of there is meaning that they that maybe those shoes belong to them. It's their um, backpack. Okay, it just this kind of there is belonging to someone. Okay. The next one is there. T H E R E. Okay, now this kind of there means over, like over there. Their shoes are over there. So you see how I use there twice in that sentence? Their shoes would be this one. That means the shoes belong to them. Their shoes are over there. Okay? meaning that's where they're located. And I just used another kind of there also, which means they are, okay, but we're not spelling that one. Let's go on to the next one. Were, W-E-R-E. -E. This is the word were, 
were, not where, it's were, okay? Won't, W-O-N apostrophe T. Would, W-O-U-L-D. And your. I'm going to just put it right here. Y O U R. Okay. And this kind of your means that those are your shoes or that's your bracelet. Okay. Once again, possession. So these words are some of the hardest words in the English language uh, to spell and to read because they do not follow the rules we have been learning. We call these words sight, sight words. Sight words are words that do not follow the spelling and punctuation rules we have been learning. I have a deck of cards, okay? So I have um, added these words to our um, slideshow that we review every day. So we'll review those words. Um, get out your spelling dictionary. And the booklets contain these sight words because these words have irregular spellings too. Okay, I'll put this to the side. So look in the table of contents and see if you can tell me what page the punctuation guide for sight words begin. So let's see. Here's punctuation guides. There's sight words. Let's follow the dots all the way over and it starts on page 40. So we look at the pages, and here they are. The punctuation guide for sight words begins on page 40 and ends on page 44. These pages list all of the sight words we will be learning throughout the school year. The words are listed in alphabetical order. They start with the letter A, a word that begins with A, and they go in alphabetical order all the way down to goes on these two pages and some more sight words all in alphabetical order and it ends with the word your. You can refer to these pages when you need help spelling or reading these sight words, okay? So what is all of this over here? This is what's going to help you read the sight words, okay? So just like in this word, I don't know what this says. So I'm going to come over here, and maybe this might help you say the word. Again, 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 again. That is the word again. Okay, and there are some check boxes here. So as you learn how to spell and read, spell and read the words, you might want to check off your words so then you know which ones you have mastered in spelling and reading. Sight words you have to memorize, okay? There are, these do not follow the rules. And the, um, when you memorize these words, the better the reader you will become because you will be able to recognize these words um, when they come up in, in your book or on other things that you have to read, okay? Okay, let's look at our worksheet. Our worksheet looks different. We are not coding any words, but we are answering questions. And these questions have sight words in them. Questions and sentences. So reading this first sentence, Tim and John were at the park as the storm hit. Their shirts got wet. When were Tim and John at the park? Not when, where. This is were, remember were. When were Tim and John at the park? Tim and John were at the park as the storm hit. So they were at the park 
when the whoops the storm hits. This is a complete sentence. This is restating your question. And I could have put Tim and John were at the park, but I put they. They were at the park. When you restate your question, you use the words that are in the question. So I did. I, I used my words. Tim and John I used as they. They were at the park when the storm hit. Jan hurt her left arm when she cut it on the corner of the bar. She won't get to swim today. Which arm did Jan hurt? Once again, restate your question. Jan hurt. Jan hurt her left arm. I am not making up any words. And that way you know you don't have to misspell anything because it's all right here. Jan hurt her left arm. And it is in a complete sentence, which is what we need to start doing. If it is dark, Fred should help his dad fix dinner at church. Where should Fred go if it is dark? And I'm also underlining and circling important words that will help me answer this question. So it's asking about Fred. Fred, I'm using the words from the question. Fred should go to church, right? To church. If it is dark, if, sorry, if it is dark, period. We should go to the market so we can get some dog snacks for Samson. Who needs snacks? Or sorry, who needs food? We should go to the market so we can get some dog snacks for Samson. Sounds like Samson needs some food, right? So Samson needs food. So I just wrote who needed it. Samson needs food. If the brush gets dirt on it, we will, we will toss it in the box for dad. When will we toss the brush in the box? So when will we toss the brush in the box? If the brush gets dirt on it. So if the brush gets dirt, on it, we will toss it in the box. Okay, complete sentences, please. Here's your homework. The same thing, read through the, the sentences, answer the questions, underline important words that will help you answer the questions. Down here is a little parent guardian letter, um, letting your parents know what you're learning in Saxon today. All right, have a great day. Thank you.